In the midst of the Hundred Years' War between England and France, an enraged French woman named Jean de Clisson took to the sea with a fleet of warships, where she mercilessly hunted down ships of King Philip VI to avenge her husband's death. For her ferocity, she eventually acquired the name the Lioness of Brittany. Jean and her crew would slaughter the crew of the king's ships, leaving two or three sailors alive, so that the message would get back to the king that the Lioness of Brittany had struck once again. H. Jean de Clisson was born into an affluent French family in 1300 and spent most of her life as a noblewoman. She was married off to a wealthy man, Geoffrey de Chateaubriand at the age of 12 and had two children. Some time after his death, Jean remarried, this time to Olivier de Clisson, who was an important Breton noble that spent years in service defending Brittany against the English. Jean de Clisson had her ships painted black with red sails. Credit, Limkis slash Deviantart. By way of background, when the Duke of Brittany died with no male heir in 1341, both King Edward III of England and Philip VI of France saw an opportunity. Brittany lay between their kingdoms and would provide either a useful foothold or buffer to invasion. This issue, combined with King Edward's claim to French territories and to the crown itself, formed the basis of the Hundred Years' War. The execution of Olivier and the spark of revenge. Although Olivier had served the French in defending Brittany from the English, the French authorities in particular, Charles de Blois, who had once fought at Oliver's side began to doubt Oliver's loyalty. Rumors spread that Olivier had defected to the English side. King Philip VI took Charles de Blois' advice and had Olivier captured and tried with treason. On August 2, 1343, he was executed by beheading at Les Halles. Oliver's head was then sent to Nantes and displayed on a pole outside the castle of Buffet. Jean, enraged and bewildered over her husband's execution, swore vengeance against both the king and Charles de Blois. The Black Fleet The first thing Jean de Clisson did was to sell off the lands that remained to her and raise a small force of loyal men with whom she attacked pro-French forces in Brittany. When her situation became too dangerous on land, she purchased three warships and took to the seas. She had her ships painted black and dyed their sails red to intimidate her enemy, earning the title the Black Fleet. The ships of the Black Fleet patrolled the channel for French ships, especially those owned by King Philip and members of the French nobility. Her crews, as merciless under her orders as she was herself, would kill entire crews, leaving only one or two alive to carry news to the king that she had struck again. This earned Jean the epithet, the lioness of Brittany, reviled as a monster by some, praised as a heroine by others. In her efforts to keep the English Channel completely free of French ships, she formed an alliance with the English, laundering supplies to their soldiers for battles. She continued her work as a pirate even after the death of her enemy, King Philip VI, in 1350. Happily ever after. Jean de Clisson fought as a pirate for 13 years. When her quest for revenge ended, it was not through losing a battle, nor was it through the French authorities finally catching up with her. Jean found love in English noble Sir Walter Brantley, who had been King Edward III's lieutenant during a campaign against Charles de Blois. She married Sir Walter in 1356 and settled into a quiet life in the castle of Hennebont in France which was a territory of her Montfort allies, and later died there in unknown circumstances. Jean's revenge on Charles de Blois was never met, he lived on until 1364 when he died in battle. He was later canonized as a saint in the Roman Catholic Church. Historical Evidence It should be noted that actual verifiable references relating to Jean's life and exploits are limited, though they do exist. Historical records include a French judgment of late 1343 condemning Jean as a traitor and ordering the confiscation of her lands. In 1345, records from the English court indicate Edward granted her an income from lands he controlled in Brittany and she is mentioned in a truce drawn up between France and England in 1347 as a valuable English ally. There is also a 15th century manuscript, known as the Chronographia Regnum Francorum, which confirms some of the details of her life. 
Nevertheless, it is almost certain that many tales about the lioness of Brittany have been exaggerated over the years, such as accounts of Jean taking great delight in personally beheading French crew members with an axe, and other such legends. Whatever the precise facts, it is clear that Jean de Clisson was no defenseless damsel in distress, but a fierce and courageous woman who fought relentlessly to avenge her husband's death. Featured Image Artist's depiction of female pirate by Thegriff slash Deviant Art.